has gotten to that point where we are questioning our physical capabilities, our lack of sunscreen, screen, <laughs> and the number 14 representing how many miles we have walked since eight o'clock in the morning. Welcome to the first ever episode of The Ultimate Adventure. Since you're joining us today, it is very important that we hit a few necessary notes before we continue. You have landed precisely in the beginning of our psychedelic summer, meaning that we need to state YouTube's policy on illicit drug-related content. Now, Google's policy on harmful or dangerous content specifically states that a video that depicts a dangerous act may be allowed if the primary purpose is for educational, documentary, experimental, or artistic reasons. So, the ultimate adventure is going to depict experimental and educational scenarios. Enjoy the trip. By now, it must be obvious to you, as it is to me, that LSD is very powerful stuff. It's not good, it's not bad, it's only a chemical, a drug. There's some people who think that LSD is the greatest gift of mankind since to be fruity ice cream. But there are many others who feel that LSD is bad news for the individual and for the world he lives in. In the beginning, when we started filming for this episode, we didn't really even know what our channel was about. We just know we just knew that we wanted to go into the Everglades and like have a, like a vlog series there. You know what I mean? So yeah, we're here in Shark Valley. It's been about a ten or so minutes since we've uh, since we came here. We're gonna start walking the trail now. Let's see what the effect of LSD has in the Everglades. We just found an alligator right on the beginning, bro. But y'all don't even know, bro. That boy looking at us, bro. the journey kept moving along, we started realizing that it would be best if we take this in a more adventurous route, in a more experimental manner. Oh, you scared me because I was, I, was, I was about to be like, yo, when does this start kicking in? Oh, that's beautiful. Hold up, man. Yo, I just hope that dude don't start moving, bro. <laughs> you can so tell we're not like the people that do we can just go in nature and stuff. Hold up, oh, hold God, up. Is like, the flock coming, bro? Is he? Dude, we're hold up. Because like, we're not even like a mile in right now. Dude, hold on, hold on. We, we just started walking, bro. You already want to hype us up, though? Like, we just, bro, like we just got a battle in the freaking. This is a first person view right here. A battle in the ecosystem. Oh, I just threw into my hand. Look at that, dude. Oh, a mosquito just flew into my hand. Bro, hold on. So as we are walking, we see an alligator already. I don't know if that's in a fighting stance. What if it's a fake alligator? And I think that's true. And look at the scales on that thing. Damn, it's just like... Yeah, these are the like baby five. ones. These are like the entry level alligators. These are level one alligators. These are like five foot long alligators. We gotta get those big, like... Big, big, big <laughs> BBC alligators. <laughs> we gotta get those ancient, ancient times. Ancient times, the freaking Megalodon alligator. The megalodon. There is an alligator that got extinct that would fight the Megalodon. Already a few minutes into the walk, we started getting a little euphoric, colors started getting brighter. Uh, we were really, like, it was just a really good time uh, between the two of us uh, before we and actually the big got thing to the is, hard part. And this is the big thing. We had 15 miles to walk throughout the day. People forget that not only is there wildlife in the Everglades, but the that there is actually a lot of stunning greenery. There's something pollinating it for sure. I feel like we've only walked maybe not even like 2% of the trail. And we have already seen two alligators, a weird insect that neither this of us like, know. Honestly. Right? Like this has been already so eventful. Not even, we're like, we're at least like in the minimum, like a quarter of a mile. Like not even a quarter. Dude, like this is not a quarter, a quarter of a mile, bro. This a quarter of a quarter of a mile. <laughs> so we're just gonna have like a scale of how big these alligators are. And this bro, one's right like, in front of a sign. Yeah, right? Bro, but like, do you think they can hear us? <laughs> do you think they can, these guys from Hialeah type Of course shit? they can hear us. And it's very important that we state the dosage amount. So since uh, LSD is unregulated, since it is in fact illegal in the United States, 
Uh, it's very hard to know what amount you get off of anyone on the street or even if you're getting LSD to begin with. But right now and most of our episodes up until the finale, we are taking 60 micrograms of LSD. So basically that gives you a body high, it gives you the psychedelic feel. Are they still? I'm just so in awe of like... Like I bet they that. are because like they go through the water. Mind you, we're, we're, we're not, we don't, we're from Hialeah. Like, I think the part the, of the stuff is they're... making them think that they're fake. That's what you think, you're right. So like they try to act as slow, like, oh, I'm catching a break, bro. Like, see how like, these are? like this ain't really, this ain't really an alligator zebra. Are you kidding me? Those are like so African safaris animals. What you're about to see is actually his first time tripping, period, ever. I've tripped several times before. I'm a pretty experienced psychedelic user, period. But he has never experienced any psychedelic thing. So what you're about to see is him tripping for the very first time. Time. Relax, I don't bro. know. No, dude, no, dude like, there's animals. <laughs> Just get used to it. It was a noise. I think felt like it was flying into my ear. Bro, but stop. Hold on. Just be quiet for a second because you're distracting me. Fine. Every one of them that we see looks a lot more clear than the last one. Like we get a nice, a better image. Imagine we had like an, we caught like an actual humongous alligator on the trail. I mean, this is pretty big, bro. It's a pretty big croc. And they just went past another alligator. This is like easily our eighth. That they're probably gonna have what? Maybe like. Two, you gotta bring like some type of bug spray so that you're not, you know, you don't have to make up all caught up in like all your bites and shit. There's a lot of insects over here. I'm not sure what the name is, but I know that they're pretty like common here. This is no, yeah, common. And on top of that, look, that could do, look at how long his beak is, bro. Yeah, due to the whole nature of where we were and exactly what we were doing, I kind of fit right in. It wasn't necessarily too jarring. It's gotten to the point of the trip where we started getting more quiet. So you already know what that, you already know what that part of the trip means. It's just like, it's just a huge area, honestly. And I'm like, wow, like, sometimes I kind of get lost in like where I am. Like, you'll like start walking and you'll be like, huh. Like, and you'll kind of forget <laughs> that you're walking like towards a goal, right? <laughs> and you just kind of start wondering to yourself like, hmm. A lot of in the beginning of what you're about to see and what you've already seen is us getting really distracted by literally every single thing in the area. The plants, the, the air, the birds, the everything. So right as we're about to look at one of these informational looking things, there's a bunch of bugs on it, which just goes to show that with the fact that we're in nature, and I really appreciate it that they're on this stick. That just looks really weird. Can we, can we point at it though? Oh, that looks so... Dude, imagine they all just start jumping at us like, ah! And they're like, these guys don't even know what they're doing. Right. Mind you, there's so many animals in the Everglades and we would stop for every single one because we thought it was just something crazy that was happening at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, out of all the things that we can come here to do, <laughs> we're looking at a bench. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like it's really wet. No shit. We're in wet land. <laughs> Imagine how weird it would be. You come to the Everglades thinking this is all wetlands and you see a manatee here. That bird's huge, bro. That bird looked at me and I'm like scared. I think it might be like a woodstock. A woodstock, bro? Is it a peaceful bird? That is not a vulture. That just looks like a really big a really big bird. <gasps> is that an eagle? That is not an eagle. Hold on a minute. I'm not even recording this. Dude, I'm mad. As long as we don't bother them, they won't bother us. Yes, man. We saw like that. Yeah. Way down the trail. Holy s. Very interesting. That felt huge. <laughs> You're like, I feel like I'm huge right now, but bro, that must be huge too, dude. And the thing is, we've seen like at least a good, like, what, eight or nine alligators? And I've seen people just zooming by on their bikes, and they miss like every single one of them. So this is a pretty visually pleasing route to take if you just want to go on like a nice uh, a nice Sunday hike and not come to Shark Valley. A nice little trip. A nice little trip. Exactly. We reached our first mile and we've been walking for like how long, dude? I don't think we've been walking for that long. Yeah, it's only been like, oh bro, it's been an hour, bro. So one thing that I've noticed out here is that you can catch a lot of the like sounds of nature if it's really quiet. So yeah, so basically don't bring any speakers. We don't have one set goal. Everyone can have like different goals. Like we kind of strive to like make our lives like what we think or we want our lives to be. And these animals here, they just kind of like, they do what they're given. Yeah. I love how we're both recording this one. No, 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 no. The thing is like once you're looking at nature and like all the sounds are coming at you at once, it can feel like, damn, this is a little it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Yes. Yeah, so, it... so we're almost we're at the... Pretty good progress. And I think we, we gotta agree on when oh someone talks, I guess. Oh my god, bro. Like, this shit just scares me, bro. Alright, so I kinda had to refresh and take a sip of water. And then all of a sudden, I just started dying of laughter for no reason. <laughs> At 
this point, how many miles have we walked already? Uh, six. We can see six miles. The like kind of the the waypoint up ahead. It's like a checkpoint tower. This is Albert Hoffman, a Swiss scientist best known for creating the psychedelic drug lysergic acid diethylamide, otherwise known as LSD, or as the mass population refers to it, acid. And you know what's the craziest part? He didn't even know what he had created until he accidentally ingested it. The U.S. has it classified as a Schedule One drug, meaning that it has a high risk of dangerous abuse. And it is also next to this drug, this drug, and this drug. On the 19th of April, 1943, Hoffman decided to take the first ever LSD trip and the rest is history. It gave me an inner joy, an open-mindedness, a gratefulness, open eyes, and an internal sensitivity for the miracles of creation. I think that in human evolution, it has never been as necessary to have this substance, LSD. It is just a tool to turn us into what we are supposed to be. So what you're about to see the rest of the video is uh, very hard for us to watch and very hard for us to talk about. We filmed these videos way in advance in order for us to plan. Like we said, we didn't really have much of an idea as to what our channel was about. So we had months to plan, months to think as to what we were going to do with these videos and this vlog, these vlogs that we had collected up until this point. And a month of healing it took to get the sunburns out. Out of pure excitement, we decided to pack sandwiches, water, everything except sunscreen, which was probably the most essential thing you need when you're walking 15 miles in the hot sun exposed to these very harmful rays, especially when you're on a psychedelic, because you don't feel it up until the very end. Trust me, we were tripping hard and like, we didn't even know we were getting sunburned until like after we got to the watchtower. Right in the beginning, that's when we were like, my neck is starting to feel like weird, man. Like, you know what I mean? And it was to the point where people would walk by us and get worried, as you're gonna see. So, we hope you enjoy it and laugh. But like, how do you feel about the walk back, man? Uh, it should be interesting. So now, this is the ending trail. It's already the middle part of the afternoon. So, I thought I should throw in this message, this positive message that we should all listen to. There is wildlife, we gotta take care of it. We've officially right. made it a mile away from the thing. All right, we've conquered double digits. So yeah, this walk is really long. We just found a bench to sit in. It's been pretty... I'm destroyed, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd say we're like, I think, not even 11 miles in. I honestly don't even see the 11. I've been dragging on and on. <laughs> kind of feel physically and emotionally drained. Uh, I think it's been about like 12 or so miles. At, we're going to 13. And you can tell this is a bike trail too. Because, like, Right. What? Right. No, no, we're good. Yeah. Thank you. You know what is crazy? The sunburn that I'm gonna leave with. Yeah, I can feel that on my neck right now. Yeah. Next time, sunscreen. What does this number mean to you now? Uh, honestly, after all of them, nothing. It's gotten to that point where we are questioning our physical capabilities our lack of sunscreen screen <laughs> and the number 14 representing how many miles we have walked since eight o'clock in the morning until now four o'clock in the afternoon well but we can only be hopeful closer to civilization we still don't know how much closer but we see buildings and helicopters so that means we probably aren't that far out anymore. Uh -huh.
to know a simple vlog about walking in the Everglades on acid turned into something of much greater value. Through the power of friendship, LSD, and perseverance, Daron and Ryan met that day with the blueprints on what the ultimate adventure actually means.